Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now it is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, Hound Dog. And when the actor begins, the referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, we are underway here at the home of the UFC, the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Cerrone, a former U.S. Muay Thai champion, one of the better kickbox... Oh! He's hurt! Cowboy's hurt! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. The big right hand! Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Clean punch. Nice kick landed there by Cerrone. Punch coming, it's blocked. Caught him with a punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Cerrone gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Damaging strike there. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the butt. Counters with the right hand, and it lands big. The left hook hits home. And there he swung with the haymaker. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. Nice. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. That's again the experience. Just over three minutes to go. How about that shin? Nice inside leg kick by Donald. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Again, he's, 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 he clinches here. Got double underhooks. And now trying to take the back. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Good exchange there. Oh, beautiful kick. Effective punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here. Oh, beautiful. He's got him hurt here. Misses a huge hook to the head. Donald looked like he was looking for a takedown there. 
really missed with that right hand. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Hook Hit him hard there with again. that hook. Oh, straight right. Hard jab. Huge uppercut misses. And he eats a right hand there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Cerrone's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Battle for position here. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Hard straight punch. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Look at that, right to the temple. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh! Final seconds of round one. Beautiful inside leg kick. Right, no more strikes. Second round, straight ahead. No more, no more, no more, no more. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. And he's looking for that left. Another power leg strike for Cerrone. That bruise on his outer thigh is really getting nasty. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Constantly a moving target. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Big left hand lands upstairs. Good combination so far from both men. Just misses with that one. Dropping down, looking for a single. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, head kick. How about that chin? Knees right here. He's got to get those knees to the body. He lands one. And now he's got the tie clinch. Lands a foot stomp. And there comes the separation now. Could be it. Big Huge left, left hand. Well, he's. Oh! Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Now, right hand. Oh, nice. Big oh. shot. timing and execution for a knockout blow. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Check it out here. Bang.
Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He is certainly... All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 65 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Bulletproof. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, the Fury! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are right, you ready? You ready? Let's here we go. go. Lands the kick to the body there. Nice. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Beautiful big body, body shot. shot there, too. Tags him. He landed a couple good shots here. Huge leg kick. Big knee to the body. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. And now they clinch. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double underhooks now. Over underhooks here. Now he's oh, got the knee. Knee. Really missed with that right hand. How about oh, that chin? Him the left. Oh, he is hurt. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Oh, what a leg kick. Big left. Oh, another one. And there he swung with a haymaker. This could be it. Oh, solid jab. Oh, big left. Slips. Oh, oh! He's in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. That's a big hook. And he's looking for that left. Oh, you gotta like that leg kick, Joe. Nice kicks. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. That one oh. hurt. He's hurt here. Oh, oh he tackled. Him. Oh! He's out. He's that out. Do it. Straight punch for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. 
He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here's the end. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Look at this. I mean, just stiff. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Bullet Bull. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly... All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC flyweight division title. Well, it's got to feel good for this man to make this walk. He has chewed up and spit out all comers on his run to contention. Now he is the undisputed number one contender looking to become the new UFC flyweight champion. A lot of people think he has the skills to do just that. Tonight, though, his opportunity to prove it in front of a sold-out crowd tonight that he is the best 125-pound fighter on the planet. Benavidez trains with Uriah Faber at Team Alpha Male, and he comes from a very solid wrestling base. He's extremely quick and athletic, and he's proven that he has the cardio to push the pace for a full five rounds. Well, this man remains the hunted at 125 pounds, one of the most dominant flyweights in UFC history, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making another title defense tonight. And candidly, Joe, he's made it look easy at times on this title run. Tonight, though, most people believe he is staring at his toughest championship defense to date. We'll see if we get and still or and new after this flyweight championship tonight. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this flyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Highway Championship of the World. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 26 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Joseph Kobe Wakanobi Benavidez. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion, champion of the world. Time. Time. All right, here we go. I am 
fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, here we go. The UFC flyweight title is on the line. This should be good. Nice punch by Benavidez. He's got a beautiful leg kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Benavidez gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Lands a punch there, Joe. Such good movement in there. Caught him with a punch. Good defense there. Oh, misses with the jab. Connects with the punch there. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I got to say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Slips the punch nicely there. Both men landing in that exchange. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Tagged him. He's controlling with the double underhooks. Oh, now he's got the tie clinch, Joe. Keeping busy here on the clinch with the knees. Benavidez gets the tie clinch here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. Battle for position here. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Wow! That left high kick came out of nowhere! And a strong outside leg kick there. Oh, very nice. Benavidez has shot his block. Honing in on those counters. Lead kick landed there by Benavidez. Connects there with the punch. Sound defensively blocks oh, the shot. Got He's got him hurt here. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be oh, out. Oh, oh, There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We can see it one more time. Look at this huge straight punch that causes the KO here. Check it out here. Boom. And there he is, the UFC flyweight champion, and he got it done with style points here tonight by virtue of the KO. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Ludley out has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and stand. flyweight champion of the world and he did it with style points here tonight as he defends the belt by way of the KO. I'm not sure I've ever seen his coaches this happy and rightfully so after their athlete turned in a performance like this and there's got to be no better feeling in all of professional sports when you are the hunted, you are the champion and you can turn in an effort like this. Congrats. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC bantamweight division title.
so here he is, the number one Bantamweight contender, looking to leave as the UFC Bantamweight champion of the world. And if you talk to fans and odds makers, a lot of people believe that this guy will leave as the new champion, has the skills to do it, has the winning streak that has positioned him for this type of opportunity. But now, fighting the number one guy in the world, we'll see if those skills translate, Joe. The number one contender looking to leave tonight as the new UFC Bantamweight champ. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion. He has successfully defended the title in the past. A decidedly different challenge, though, here tonight. Prevailing wisdom is that this will be his toughest title defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record now. 21 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's Hammer, New Jersey, USA, introducing the challenger, Marlon Magic Morales. And now he is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Johnson! This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch good. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go, go down Russia, right ready? now. All right, here we go. Five rounds for the UFC's Bantamweight Championship. Going to be very interesting to see how this title fight plays out. Good defense there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Johnson. Wow, that was a quick takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. He's now working from side control again. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Marlon Moretz. Big shot. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there for the champion. That is it. Oh, that's it! 
beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. Let's see that again. Boom! And that's all she wrote. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion proving tonight that he can get the job done and also get it done with style points as he gets the win by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Misaki is called to stop for this contest at 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still! That's one way to defend the belt, and still the UFC's undisputed Bantamweight champion. He gets it done tonight by way of the knockout, and it is going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone this fighter at this point in time. The celebration is on in the corner, and rightfully... All right, coming up next, our matchup for the UFC featherweight title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. champion for a reason he believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats and that is what is at stake for him here tonight another title defense another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145 pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted the champion is in focus right now he's making his way towards the cage his training for this bout has been perfect everything ran according to plan he believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title and now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight three years apart some differences in height and reach all right to get us started now here's bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, the chosen one. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of the top, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Cardinal. 
prizes for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. The UFC featherweight title is on the line. It does not get any bigger than this. Big punch. That one hurt. Nice one-two combination there. Just misses with the right hook. Lands a punch there, Joe. Nice body kick there. Landed that one. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Whiffs on the right hand. And a nice kick. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, he's definitely hurt. Oh, big left hand. Wow. Blocks the shot. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, tagged him. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Under three minutes to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands a kick to the leg, right on the button. How about that shin? That's again the experience. Missed the mark. Circling to his right. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Missed that shot. Big oh, left hand. huge left hand. And he pummels out of it. He's got the double. Calderwood gets the tie clinch here. That knee might have landed there. Some nice back and forth action here. Lands another knee. Oh, nice knee. Oh, he clipped him there. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Oh, tagged him. Nice punch there by Calderwood. Missed with that right hand. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Kick lands. Calderwood gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Really missed with that right hand. 
20 seconds now remain in the round. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. The kick gets through. 10 seconds to go. Calderwood gets caught by that straight punch. That will get his attention. The oh. horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Let's see that from another angle. And here we see it from another angle. The beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going. Second round here. Wow! He's got him in here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. That strike will count. Didn't quite connect. Slips the punch. Caught him with a punch. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Just a slip there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He lands the head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the straight right. Oh! This could be oh, it. He might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. That one hurt. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Big shots! And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Moving to the left here. Oh. He nailed him with that right hand. Body kick, look at that. How about that chin? straight punch well Joey seems to have his opponents timing down he has landed some good shots but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing so perhaps at this point he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes maybe I'll oh, look like it did stun him a he little bit it. he's in trouble he's in trouble Blocks the shot here, Joe. Yeah. 
try to establish that jab. And he connects there, Joe. Just misses there with the left. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Calderwood. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Good overhand. Tagged him. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, man. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Round three next. Let's take a look at that again. And let's see that again. Ariane Celeste in the building. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Nice shot. And he's looking for that left. Nice punch by Calderwood. Good combination so far from both men. Just misses with the jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Just missed with the left there. Oh, leg kick is good. Nice punch by Calderwood. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Couldn't agree with you more. Tagged him with the Superman punch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Nice leg kick. Straight right, he misses. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses.
Well, Joe, he did not connect there. How about that chin? Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. He just whips that punch in. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely oh, nasty. He's oh! He's in big trouble. Nice crack there. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, so another strike to the body there. And, Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Nice straight punch there. Oh, lands that punch. Final seconds of round three. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Can impact the breathing pattern, Joe. So significant damage done in that round. The cut on that nose most definitely getting worse at this point of the fight. And here's another clean shot that lands and another perfectly placed strike. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five. Oh, oh, five. This could be it right here. barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Yeah, that's a good stoppage there, Joe. The fighter stopped defending himself. He certainly wasn't intelligently defending himself, even though he was trying to keep himself in the fight. And again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. And here's where the ref called it. Well, it's hard to do much better than that on the biggest of stages, Joe. There he is, the UFC featherweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by TKO and Steve! Surprise, they are all still chasing this man at 145 pounds. He is the UFC featherweight champion. That's the way he came in. And after the TKO win tonight, that is exactly the way he goes out. He was confident coming in that he would get the finish, and it materialized pretty quickly here tonight. The celebration.